What if I told you that today's tropical drawing has to do with one inch and poison? Well, it does. Today, we're going to draw a very tiny poisonous creature. Poison dart frogs are considered one of Earth's most toxic or poisonous species. Their average lifespan in the wild is three to 15 years. And poison dart frogs are amphibians, carnivorous amphibians, and are one inch in size with a range of bright colors, yellows, oranges, reds, greens, blues. Poison dart frogs aren't just big show-offs either. Those colorful designs tell potential predators, I'm toxic, don't eat me. For example, the golden poison dart frog has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice. Scientists think that poison dart frogs get their toxicity from some of the insects they eat. How do poison dart frogs capture their prey? Slurp? With a long sticky tongue that darts out and zaps the unsuspecting bug. The frogs eat many kinds of insects including fruit flies, ants, termites, young crickets, and tiny beetles which are the ones scientists think may be responsible for the frog's toxicity. Poison dart frogs live in the rainforests of Central and South America. And today, you and I are going to learn how to draw one of these super tiny critters. Here are some more really interesting facts about poison dart frogs. As well as in the rainforests, Poison dart frogs are also found on a few Hawaiian islands. Generally, the brighter their color, the more poisonous they are. In zoos, poison dart frogs are fed crickets. Poison dart frogs have excellent eyesight. And some species like the blue poison dart frog are endangered. This is due to deforestation. Unlike most tropical frogs, which are nocturnal, poison dart frogs are diurnal and active during the day. To start drawing your own poison dart frog, you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, and later some coloring materials. Try to find the brightest colors you can. The first step is drawing a curved line that you draw two times. That will become the mouth. From there, right at the end of the mouth, you're going to draw a circle with a smaller circle inside. That becomes the eye. Draw a bump over top of the eye with a diagonal line connected. This is the face of your poison dart frog. When you extend the line from the mouth, that becomes the underbelly and you'll add two front legs with bent squiggly lines. Following those you're going to draw a curve for its stomach and attach the webbed feet. And those feet will have little circles at the ends of each toe. This is my favorite part of drawing a poison dart frog. It's a very long curved line that flip flops on itself. And then you extend the back section of the body and you draw the back feet. Remember, you can change the direction of the toes and at the end of each toe, you should see a little circular shape. And the final touches on the line drawing, the contour drawing of this poison dart frog, is when you add those small details like the dots in the eye and the spots on the frog itself. So you're about to watch the process where I added the spots and drew the landscape that surrounds this frog, this poison dart frog. And in my drawing, I'm choosing to draw a giant leaf that the frog is sitting on. 
and I wanted mine to have the orange body and the blue legs. And again, that's your choice on which kind of poison dart frog you want to do. Some of them are black and yellow, red and black, blue and black. The brighter, again, the color is, the more poisonous your frog will like look like. So if you want to go bright, go for it. In my case, I wanted this orange and blue combination because I think this one is really difficult to draw and I wanted to challenge myself. So do what works for you. And once you're pleased with the look of your poison dart frog, you can begin to outline and trace over all those pencil lines with markers before coloring in. And if you don't have a marker, that's fine. You could use a pen, a heavier line of a pencil to press down or whatever you have on hand will work for this project. So don't be looking around for the exact tools I'm using because I'm just using what I have on hand in my pencil box. Once you're done coloring in your poison dart frog, it's time to think about building the background. So remember, a poison dart frog lives in the jungle. So you should try to incorporate lots of different clues that the viewer can understand that's the environment of the dart frog, the poison dart frog. So in my case, I'm choosing to draw a big leaf that the frog is snuggled up on and I'm selecting a midnight blue color for the sky because I'm thinking the trees overhead, the canopy is just so full of leaves that you can't really get any sun filtering down onto that frog.
So have some fun coloring in your drawing. Thank you for visiting. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some of your creations. So I'll see you in the next drawing video.